On Thursday, the UFC announced that former UFC heavyweight champion Brock Lesnar has once again contracted the ailment diverticulitis. During the conference call, UFC President Dana White stated that the sport's biggest draw has been undergoing treatment at the famed Mayo Clinic for the affliction. Fortunately, this isn't a good call, it's a bad call. Uh, former UFC heavyweight champion Brock Lesnar has diverticulitis again. He uh, spent all day yesterday over at the, uh, the Mayo Clinic, has gone through a bumper to bumper, I guess we'll call it, uh, of tests. And, uh, you know, this, this thing acted up on him again. He's got some serious uh, choices to make in the, next, uh, in the next couple of weeks, whether to fight this thing or to take uh, uh, the surgery. He's on the phone with us here today, so you guys can, uh, can ask him questions. And his June 11th bout in Vancouver with Junior Dos Santos uh, will still go on, only Dos Santos will fight Shane Carlin instead of Brock Lesnar. Lesnar, who was also on the call, stated that this does not signify the end of his MMA career. This is an unfortunate situation for me. Uh, I, I dodged a bullet about two years ago uh, with with uh, diverticulitis. At that time, not knowing what was uh, what the problem was, and uh, dodged a bullet by not having uh, not having the surgery. And uh, diverticulitis is an illness that never goes away. Uh, it's something that I've, that I've dealt with uh, since my first occurrence and uh, have been battling with it. Uh, it's just uh, it's something that, that's in your, uh, in your colon uh, for, for the rest of your life. And I've been able to maintain it to a point where it's tolerable, but um, I, 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 went, I was able to go through two training camps, uh, Shane Carlin and uh, Kane Velasquez, uh, and and uh, made it through those camps without having a, a, a bout or, or any symptoms. And uh, I've been dealing with uh, some symptoms for the last, um, I would say, three months. I felt a little bit uh, while I was filming the Ultimate Fighter. And the only way to treat the symptoms is by getting on antibiotics and uh, allowing, the, the, uh, uh, allowing the antibiotics to, to take its course and to, to uh, fight the infection. And um, during the course of this training camp, um, I felt uh, another infection, got another uh, CT scan down my stomach where it was visible uh, inflation. And um, due to that, what it does to you, it, it didn't allow me to train to, to, to my full capabilities. And uh, I, ha I was forced to make a decision uh, to, to go back down to the doctor this week to figure out uh, how far this thing is along and, and uh, what it does is it drains my entire body down. Uh, I, I, basically, you've got an infection in, in your stomach and, and uh, all my resources went to fight fight the, this problem instead of uh, rebuilding uh, rebuilding uh, what I tore down in the gym. So, uh, nothing, not, it's not as serious as last time. Uh, it, just, it, it just didn't allow me to train the way I needed to train for a, a number one contenders bout. Lesnar has been forced to withdraw from his upcoming tilt with Junior DeSantos at UFC 131 in Vancouver, and Shane Carwin replaces the former wrestling star.